Hey everybody, welcome to Pace Studios on the Road. We are here in East Nashville at Instrument Head Live with AJ Croce. AJ, thank you for being here. Hey, thanks for having me, man. I really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, dude. We, it's a total pleasure on our side too. Thank you for the sound check. I've been uh, enjoying myself immensely listening to you play for the last hour and we're oh. about to share your music with the internet, man. What's coming up first? Oh, well, uh, I'm going to play something off of, uh, I think it was my fourth album, uh, self-titled uh, album, and this is... Um, this is called Hung Up on You. It's sort of a, a letter to God or something. Uh, never got an answer, but um, sounds something like this. How come the world's off track? How come the government's attack? Come you won't call me back? King, how come it's everything? How come the phone won't ring? How come the uphill climb? How come there's so much crime? How come you never chime? You got my number, you know just what to do. You've got the answer to. Never make it through I'm just hung up on you How come God lost control? How come the human soul? How come the line won't hold? How come the forest fire? How come the funeral pile? How come you never wild? Is man so vile? How can he reconcile? Come, you just won't die. You got my number, you know just what to do. You've got the answer to. I've tried and tried, but I never make it through. I'm just hung up. Just hung up on you Oh, let your fingers do the walking I'll listen close to what you say I've got a mind to speak But you can do the talking I know you want to anyway Thank you, um, man. So we were we were able to talk a little bit offline about the uh, this the environment that we're in. Instrument Head Live, with Michael's photography here, Bootsy Collins and Mickey Hart and Molly Tuttle, and uh, so it's a very easy environment to talk about music and musical influences. Um, and we were chatting about Harry Nilsson. We're talking about the Zombies a little bit. Can yeah. you remember? So when you wrote that uh, that record was two thousand four, right? right. Um, who were? Do you recall some of the artists that were really doing it for you at that period? Y you know, it's it. it it was all over the map, you know. Um, it was uh, the first record that I had made in um, in almost four years, so it was like uh, I had all of these different ideas. And you know, sometimes when you're when you're writing in the usual cycle of eighteen months, like I've done most of my life, uh, professional life at least, where you're you know you're writing, you record, you go on tour, and then you repeat, you know, and um, and. 
what, what I find happens is there might be six or seven different ideas and then you find that you might write 20 songs but they're all kind of fitting within those ideas and you might want to find the one that's, um, that's the most eloquent or the most interesting and, and then you got to consider what's going to fit together. So there were all kinds of influences there. Um, you know, always, I've always had soul influences, you know, people like Ray Charles and Otis Redding and, and um, you know, I've had you know, lots of, you know, jazz and New Orleans and blues influences, rock and roll influences. That one was definitely, at that moment, I think I was, you know, I was listening to Nielsen. I was listening to a lot of, um, a lot of classical music. Um, it was one of the first times that I had, you know, uh, arranged uh, strings. And so it was, it was just, uh, it was a fun project. You know, it was really free and I didn't, when I started it, I didn't have a label. So it was, um, there wasn't anyone really, you know, telling me what they wanted. It was just completely free association. And also the first record I got to produce, uh, you know, of my own music, you know. Nice. Well, man, I've been listening to a ton of your music recently. Thank you for bringing it here and playing it for us live today. We appreciate it very much. And there's more coming up, man. What are you going to do second today? Um, well, thinking about bringing it here, I want to thank Yamaha for, for bringing this beautiful piano. They're so good to me. And, and um, leaving it all week, man. It's going to get I'm I'm really grateful. Um, you know, they've, they've really been generous. Um, this is a song I wrote for my, for my late wife, uh, Marlo. And um, it's called Just Like Medicine. And this was uh, for my last record, um, something that I recorded with uh, Dan Penn, a uh, great songwriter and producer. And, and um, anyway, it was, I think I had, I've moved back and forth from California to Nashville a couple times. And this was the first, I think the last song I wrote for, for this album and it, you know it was, it was the first song I wrote at my place here in East Nashville and um, it sort of captured wh where my head was at at the moment and um, this is called Cures Just Like Medicine. <clears throat> I've been betrayed by the ones I love lost faith in the Lord above ashamed of the way I've acted Changed by my circumstances Someone gave her love Now I'm saved So has his heaven sent Cures just like medicine I gave my heart to ride With reckless drivers Trust I lost and no good liars My money paid for countless parties what a waste, well now I'm sorry Someone gave her love, I'm amazed So has his heaven sent cures just like medicine So has his heaven sent cures just like medicine Seen a world so many times The rise, the fall the changing ties Don't tell me what I ought to know I know, I know, I know Couldn't read between the lines Common sense was hard to find Fact or fiction, false or true I'm through, I'm through, I'm through Raced across a thousand miles Met my match and started fires I lost myself in all the wreckage Then I finally got the message Someone had to show me the way So has his heaven sent cures just like medicine So has his heaven sent cures just like medicine so as his heaven said, yours just like medicine.
right. Thank you, AJ. Man, um, can we... So that's period of... I mean, that's not that long ago that no, you were dealt last. some of the roughest cards that anybody can can be dealt. And uh, can we talk a little bit about the... Um, the cast of care. I mean, the, the people who played on just like medicine, like there's so, so many huge names, yeah, like Steve know, Cropper and Vince Gill, like mm -hmm. was, yeah, were those relationships? Uh, I mean, I imagine it's extra important to, to be able to, to lean on people and hang and commune when, when you're going through something like that. Yeah. You know, um, I had, uh, there, there was a period a little before that, um, I had been writing with, um, writing a bunch with, with Leon Russell and we'd written about, 10 or 12 songs together and um and i was sort of looking i found a place i worked with um with alan toussaint on one of them um in new orleans uh which he produced and and um and then and i brought another one to uh, dan pan and with dan pan it was like um you know, just this great, great lineup of, of Muscle Shoals, Memphis, you know, folks and, and Nashville folks. So yeah, you mentioned uh, Cropper, who I met when I was probably 17 or 18 here. The very first gig I played here was at um, the Bluebird um, in the late 80s. And, um, and I had come to do a session. It was my very first session. Um, I was 17 and, um, and I met, uh, that was for uh, Cowboy Jack Clement. And that was one of the first times I was here. And um, I got a gig out of it, ended up um, playing, this, playing this show and met Cropper and he took me out to dinner and we just ended up um, be staying friends all these years later. And so, um, you know, with Dan, he brought, a, you know, a David Hood from Muscle Shoals, Muscle Shoals Horns. Um, I love playing with Colin Linden on, on guitar, who, who, um, and that was a great opportunity to, to work with him, and uh, Brian Owings on drums, and the McCrary sisters um, singing background. Um, it was just, it was a really fun, fun period, and working with Dan was a thrill, and we did it all, you know, analog. It was a, it was a process, but it was really fun. Yeah. Most of it's live, you know, the way I like to record everything. It has to be the moment, you know, you're capturing a moment. Well, here we are. I mean, this is, this is the format here, you know, yeah. warts, warts and all. There's no overdubs here. No. Um, dude, I, you sound I tremendous. I really, really enjoy what is happening here. And we're, we'll move from the 2017 record into, you've got, um, by request comes out early 2021. Yeah, you know, um, I started recording this last December and um finished it in january and it was um sort of a it was something I'd, i hadn't really thought about um doing i had played a you know a cover here and there on records but never had you know done an album of covers and i figured it would be fun to do stuff that i had pl i had played at parties at my house you know i've always loved entertaining and and um having friends over and other musicians and just music you know people that love music um um, and I love, I love playing with all of them. And so it seemed like we, it'd be sort of the wee hours and, and someone would request something and, and I would play it. And so each song is from a, you know, not necessarily the same period of time. It's sort of spans over probably 30 years of, of having parties and hanging out with, with different friends and getting different requests, thousands of them over the years, you know, um, this one, um, was a request and, um, by a, a great piano player. And again, I want to thank um, Yamaha for getting me a great piano because it's hard to play this song on, on, on uh, something that doesn't, that doesn't move quick. Um, so yeah, this was a song by Billy Preston, uh, someone who I loved as a solo artist and as a sideman and um, goes something like this. <laughs> Don't try to be your highness 
AJ, thank you. What a great way to end uh, Wednesday evening. Great song. Thank you. That's uh, and these are all. This is the coolest job in the world. We get to do this all the time. We've just recorded twelve <laughs> sessions. Grateful, We're going to do I'm twenty-eight. Grateful. I just I do not take this for granted in any way. This is so much fun. Thank you for coming and doing it, man. Thank you so much for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah, man. And best of luck on by request. That is, um, I believe, I'm telling the truth when I say February fifth, twenty twenty-one. It'll be year. out in the world. So uh, yeah, man. Thank you for sharing the music with us today. Yeah, and that been... one, that one, uh, that single's out. So you can download it if you want. It's available. Nice, nice. Well, we'll stay tuned for when all of the, I've been listening to that album quite a bit. I've got fancy press access to it, but oh, great, uh, we'll, great. yeah, when the rest of the world can listen to it, we will uh, stay tuned, and we should do it again, man. I, I love would doing love this. to anytime, man. All right, thank you. <laughs> 